So, I'm speaking now to Andreas Blaska of M&M Packaging. Andreas, tell me, what are you doing in Interpack? Exhibiting. Exhibiting. Exhibiting, you know? talking to our customers, meeting business partners, enjoying ourselves, enjoying our business, <laughs> and uh, showing the world what we can do okay, well in packaging. Here, you've got, we've got a map behind us of some of the places you've got uh, uh, production all this. Can you tell us something about it? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> yes. um, we are Europe's largest manufacturer of folding cartons, mm -hmm. um, producing in 27 with 27 factories in 12 countries. As you can see from the map, we are uh, located in, in the UK as well as in uh, most other Western European countries, but also in Russia, Poland, mm -hmm. Romania, Turkey, and many other places. Yes, and can you tell me a bit about your business in Russia and Poland? We are in Poland since I think already 10 years. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, two factories there and we are catering to basically all the major multinationals and big domestic Polish uh, manufacturers of mm -hmm. fast moving consumer goods. Yes, and how about Russia? Russia is an exciting one, definitely. We are operating currently two factories, both in St. Petersburg. One is specialized on tobacco, only tobacco products. And the other one is specialized on uh, general packaging uh, requirements. We are very strong in food, we are strong in detergents, personal care, confectionery, tea. So it's a very exciting environment for us to be in. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Russia, you need to know your game, that's for sure. Yes, absolutely. And what about, what about, um, what can you offer a client that maybe you, 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 you think your, your, your competitors are not offering? I think there are basically three things that we feel is a definitely a strong advantage on our side. One is the Europe-wide presence, mm -hmm. so we can deliver to a customer wherever he is. We follow our customers and our footprint tries to match our customer's footprint. Second is we know exactly about the supply chain requirements, whether it is vendor managed inventory, just-in-time concepts, all of this we know it from many different situations with many different customers. And number three is we offer innovations which our customers are crying for and we're trying to help them to bring these innovations speed to market uh, mm -hmm. to them. Yes, can you tell me a bit about the innovations? Can you give me some specific examples? Yeah, there are many things that are being uh, discussed right now. One big thing is definitely the convenience issue, so how to make packaging more consumer friendly, easy, easily uh, opening, reclosability, etc. These type of things. And the other important thing is the whole uh, area of uh, shelf appearance, shelf attention, uh, the moment of truth. So how can you make a box really attractive so that the customer wraps to it and cannot resist on buying in the very moment of truth in the shelf. Yeah, of course, that being the most important thing along the entire line. Exactly, exactly right. Okay, well, thank you very much then. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So